What's up, beautiful people? It's your girl, Chrissy Mack. Welcome to today's video. We are going to embark on an incredible journey together. Today, we are gonna dive deep in the importance and incredible benefits of staying consistent with our health, especially when it comes to working out after undergoing a kidney transplant. So grab your favorite beverage, get comfortable, and let's have a heart-to-heart -heart about this life-changing topic. Imagine waking up each morning filled with a renewed sense of gratitude and appreciation for the gift of life. A kidney transplant is like receiving a second chance, a restart button that allows us to embrace every opportunity, guys, chase our dreams, and take charge of our overall well-being. And you know what? One of the key ingredients to this journey is the power of consistency. It's not about staying fit. It's about embarking on an adventure, finding joy in the process and experiencing the incredible benefits that awaits us along the way. Let me paint a vivid picture for you. Picture waking up every morning, feeling a surge of energy pulsating through your veins, knowing that your body is primed and ready to conquer the day. That's the magic of staying consistent with your workouts after kidney transplant. It's not only about regaining physical strength, guys, but it's also about boosting your mental well-being. Exercise becomes a powerful tool that empowers us to overcome obstacles, build resilience, and celebrate the amazing progress we make along the way. Now let's dive deeper into this incredible benefit that comes hand in hand with staying consistent. First and foremost, Exercise plays a crucial role in enhancing our cardiovascular health. After a kidney transplant, it's important to keep our heart strong and healthy, and regular exercise is a fantastic way to achieve this. Whether it's brisk walking, cycling, dancing to our favorite tunes, engaging in cardiovascular activities help keeps our body flowing, strengthening our heart muscles, and reducing the risk of heart-related complications. You guys already know that these medications that we're taking, especially for those of you that are on prednisone, this will make you gain weight if you haven't seen. Like if you've gained weight already, comment below and let me know that you've gained weight. And you have to ask yourself, are you doing your workouts? Are you walking? I understand in the beginning, you know, things are, you know, you're fresh, you're taking your time, but you need to walk. But for those of you that have been over a year, you have to work out. You have to ask yourself, like, you've come so far. Do you want to fall back? That is why I'm in this gym today is because I know where I was. And to be honest with you guys, I am more physically fit now than I was back then. It was such a struggle and I don't want to see you guys gain weight. Then guess what? What happens when you gain weight? You end up having more health issues, other health issues. This should have been the biggest obstacle that you had to overcome. Please don't let gaining weight put you back into a category of kidney failure because, you know, your blood pressure is high and things are going on and diabetes. Like we've come way too far. Do you remember those days of being stuck in your arm or in, you know, doing PD or any of that? You don't want to go back there. So let's fight it. You know, our mind is the most powerful thing that we have and we have to wake up every morning. I woke up this morning. I did not feel like coming to the gym at all but i told myself i'm coming to this gym i'm going to work out and thank god i have a great accountability partner that's here with me that's pushing me and you know inspiring me to do better but if you don't i don't care i need you to put your shoes on i need you to get to the gym or you know buy a little weights do something but keep pushing because i don't want to see you guys gain weight and end up back into the hospital for something else Guys, I know I can be very passionate, but I don't want you to feel like I'm attacking you at all, right? I just love you guys so much and I care about my community. That's why I'm, you know, just so passionate about you guys staying healthy and staying fit because I'm not on this journey myself. I didn't create this channel for myself. It's for all all of us so my goal is to inspire and to push you guys to be the best version of yourself so another significant benefit <laughs> of staying consistent with your exercise is improvement on your muscle tone and flexibility engaging in strength training exercise or practical activities like yoga pilates can help us maintain strong and supple muscles 
that's why I'm in this gym because I want to be fit. I want to be toned, you know? So like I was saying, which is not only enhances our physical performance, but also better posture, joint health. You know, I don't know about you guys, but I also battle lupus and with the lupus, it has a lot of joint pains and things of that nature. So I have to constantly keep moving so it doesn't lock up on me and I'm not in pain at night. Plus with the increase of muscle strength, everyday activities become more manageable and enjoyable, making us feel more confident and independent. Now let's talk about the mighty, mighty Power Rangers. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, guys. You guys know I'm already silly, right? So let's talk about the mighty endorphins. Have you ever experienced that incredible rush of feel good vibes after a workout? Well, my friend, that's the magic of endorphins. Regular exercise stimulates and releases these natural mood boosters, leaving us feel energized, uplifting, and ready to conquer the world. It's like feeling free. All natural dose of happiness that can combat stress, anxiety, and depression, promoting a positive outlook on life. Let me tell you a real quick story, right? There was a day like I just was having such a rough day and I didn't get to go to the gym the day prior because you know life it's summer break my kids are home and it was just so much going on and I was so angry that my husband wasn't coming to the gym with me and I'm like listen we need to get to the gym like I'm going through and mentally the gym is like my safe space I enjoy it and even though I'm in pain I, it just does something to me after the fact. And I literally cried because I'm like, you know, I'm not able to go to the gym. There's so much going on. And he looked at me like I was crazy. He's like, wow, the gym is that important to you? And I'm like, hell yeah. Like I need the gym. This is like my outlet. Like I feel so great. Those endorphins, they just do something to me. And he looked at me and was like, I think it was like eight o'clock at night. And he was like, yo, put your shoes on, put your gym clothes on and let's get to the gym. And I thanked him so much after that workout because I felt amazing, right? Because going to the gym just, oh, it just does something, guys. And if you go to the gym and you feel great after, I want to know. Actually, I want to know what kind of workouts you guys do at the gym. Because, you know, I'm always looking for something new. Um, but I was just so happy to be in the gym that day just because of how I feel, those endorphins. So they do make a difference. It's like a drug. It's like you want more and more and more of it. I know, I know I'm pushing you guys to work out, get fit. And you might be thinking, what about the potential risk and limitations? Trust me, my friend, I have been there. This is why it's critical to work closely with your medical team who will guide you on the best exercise regimen suitable for your unique situation. Everybody's situation is completely different. Your healthcare professional will consider your specific condition your medications, and any restrictions you may have. They'll provide valuable insight on how to adapt workouts to your needs, ensuring your safety while maximizing your benefits. I did have somebody write me here on YouTube asking me, saying like, you know, my team says, you know, just to walk, not to do anything else um, because my creatine will go up. You know, again, I don't know your personal medical history, but everyone is different. For me, I have not experienced that. Working out has actually benefited me in multiple different ways. My team actually encourages me to work out, you know, and I ask permission for certain workouts. Obviously, when it was time for me to lift, I ask. When it's time for me to do abs, I ask. So asking your your team is best because I am not <laughs> your doctor. Um, so I don't know your medical history, your background. So I can't tell you what to do, what you can't do. And I don't know what stage you're at. Um, but I'm just pushing and guiding you, but you obviously need to ask your team, Hey, am I able to lift? Am I able to run? Am I able to do sit-ups? And they'll be able to let you know, yes or no. All right, let's dive deep into some practical tips and tricks that can help you stay motivated and consistent on your health journey after a kidney transplant. First and foremost, find activities that generally spark your joy, that make you excited to move. It could be dancing, swimming, cycling, hiking, or simply going for a walk in nature. The key is to choose 
activities that align with your preference and make you look forward to each workout sessions. As you guys can see, I'm in the gym because lifting makes me happy. That's what motivates me. Setting realistic goals is another critical aspect of staying consistent. Start small and gradually increase the intensity and duration of your workouts over time. You gotta celebrate every milestone you achieve along the way, whether it's completing a certain number of repetitions, improving your strength, or even just showing up for your workouts consistently. Remember, it's not about perfection. It's about progress and the remarkable journey you're on. Now let's recap some exercises that you could incorporate on your routine after a kidney transplant. Because after this video, I don't want you guys to say that you do not have a plan. You do not know where to start because I'm actually going over all of this with you in detail. Like I said before, consult with your medical team before starting any new activities to assure that they align with your unique situation. So again, so here are some few suggestions. The first one, brisk walking or jogging. Lace up your shoes, hit the pavement. Walking and jogging is a fantastic low impact cardiovascular exercise that can be easily modified to your fitness level. Number two, swimming or water aerobics. Take a dip in the pool and enjoy the resistance and buoyancy that the water provides. Swimming and water aerobics are an excellent option for building strength, improving flexibility, and minimizing joint stress. Number three, which is my favorite of them all, strength training. Engaging in resistance exercising using resistant bands, dumbbells, or even weight machines. Strengthening your muscle helps support your overall physical performance and improves bone density. You guys remember we do get bone density tests once in a while. So you want to make sure that, you know, you're doing okay because the prednisone and all of that can mess messes up with your bones. Number four, yoga or Pilates, embracing the mind-body connection through these gentle yet powerful practices, yoga and Pilates improve flexibility, enhance core strength, and promote relaxation and stress reduction. You guys already know I have a lot of stretching videos on my channel. You can go find them in the playlist and you can start with some of that just to build up your flexibility and make you feel good because they're great. You can watch all the comments. Everybody talks about how, you know, how much they've improved since doing some of those stretching videos. So please please go ahead, head over there and, you know, try some of those videos out and see if that helps you at least to get started. So the fifth one is cycling. Either you can hop on a stationary bike. You know, some of you guys might have that Peloton. I'm gonna need you to dust that bad boy off. Or you can hit the scenic trails if you enjoy outdoor cycling. It's a fantastic way to engage your leg muscles, boost your cardiovascular health and explore great outdoors. And there you have it, my friends, the remarkable journey of embracing consistency for a healthier life after a kidney transplant. And to be honest, it's not just about a kidney transplant, but any health issue that you're dealing with. It's like unlocking a world of endless possibilities. So grab this second chance at life with both hands and make every day count. Remember, you are strong, resilient, and capable of achieving incredible things. You guys, I want to be your accountability partner. I want to be that person that is there for you. I've been here for you the whole time, but what I want you guys to do is when you're working out and you're lifting those weights or you're doing my stretch videos, tag me on Instagram. You guys know how to find me at Chrissy Mac um, and tag me and I will share that and let's talk about your journey that you're working out. I want to see that because I want to know that you're actually working out and if you have no one else in your corner at least you know you have me. So thank you guys for, you know, coming on and watching this video today. I love that you guys support this channel. It means the world to me. So if you found this video helpful, or have any questions drop those in the comments and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more inspiring content until next time stay strong stay healthy keep rocking on that incredible journey of yours and don't forget that you are amazing i love you guys and i appreciate you see you guys next time